Largs Old Kirkyard contains a Skelmerley Isle, reached up the steps past Largs Museum in Man's Court off Main Street. It is so called because Sir Robert Montgomery of Skelmerley built it in 1636 as an extension to Largs Old Kirk and to be a memorial to his wife, Dame Margaret Douglas, who had died a few years earlier. It is in the care of Historic Scotland and we wish to thank them for permission to make this film. The most remarkable feature of the aisle is its wooden ceiling painted to represent a stone vault and decorated with texts from the Bible. Signs of the Zodiac, symbolic pictures and coats of arms. It is signed by the artist J.S. Stalker who also did work in Edinburgh Castle. There is also a grand memorial arch carved from fine sandstone with intricate detail which stands over the tomb and crypt. Here are Jacob and Esau and Isaac from the Old Testament story. Lady with a horse, which accounts for the belief that Lady Margaret died in a riding accident at Largs Calms Day Fair. And here are Adam and Eve with the Tree of Knowledge in the Garden of Eden. The arch bears the symbols of mortality as clearly now as it did almost 400 years ago. An inverted torch, a grave digger, an hourglass, flowers, and a tablet with the epitaph for Dame Margaret Douglas. The crypt contains one wooden coffin, a lead one with the coat of arms of Sir Robert Montgomery side by side with one for Dame Margaret. There is no record of who is in the wooden coffin. Back out in the open air we can see another small building with a stone flagged roof. This is the Brisbane family mausoleum which contains the remains of, among others, Sir Thomas MacDougall Brisbane, who had a city in Australia named after him. But that is another story.